Hi, my name is Gottlin Wan and I'm a third generation restaurateur and chef. And how did you find your passion for martial arts and cooking? I suppose you kind of... Yeah, the cooking, the cooking side of things is just... Uh, ever since I can remember, it, we've always been within a restaurant or takeaway of some sort. So back, you know, I even remember the Hung Lao days before my dad opened up his first restaurant. And we, 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 we were there. I mean, my oil oh, you know, still goes on about that when she went my sister was really little, that my sister would live in a drawer, <laughs> literally live in a drawer because the you know, mum and dad had to work. So when they should, they, they'd make a little bed in one of the cupboards and all them would go to sleep in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then when, when my dad had the bamboo house, we'd go and visit. And um, and then obviously when he opened up the Panda, which was on Foss Road, we actually had, we had the building upstairs, we had the flat upstairs. So we were always part of it. So again, so like we learnt the whole the, the whole range of from washing up in the kitchen to <laughs> prepping in the kit, you know, to prepping know to, to, to cooking. To <laughs> <laughs> but but it was it, you know, that was it. I mean, it, you know, it put food on the table. It sort of like um, it gave us our pocket money. And the martial arts was there was a karate school dead opposite my dad's first restaurant called um, Secular Hall. And then um, my mum and dad enrolled us there. There were TV programs like The Water Mighty and The Monkey Magic. And I remember <laughs> painting broomsticks black and gold and silver and pretending I was monkey and blowing cotton wool around the school playground. So martial arts for me has just been something that I've just loved my entire life. And you know, thankfully for myself, I've been able to keep within it. How has the Chinese com uh, community supported your um, career and life? I wouldn't say it was supporting my career, it, it, it gave me the tools to do what I'm doing now. Obviously the food, again, it, it was that, that was that's what we did for a living, you know, so you learn to cook, you learn to prep, and uh, I'm still learning now, so we, and I, I enjoy, obviously I enjoy my food, and I enjoy cooking, and it doesn't feel like a chore, so I'm actually doing two things in my life where it doesn't feel like I'm working. Do an interview it's, it's on like, the first you've day. Got, you've got the older generation. Yeah. And then you've got the generation where you know British born Chinese sort of like what's been going on but then you've also got the Chinese still, that are coming over here trying to do something still, as well and yeah. that's where Shun and the other some of the other guys will come into it mm. yeah. and again sort of like you know, how it all kind of correlates and what we're all going to get out of the benefit yeah. of having a central place where we can all go definitely don't forget to check out the link for my new Chinese takeaway cookbook with over 70 recipes of your favorite takeout dishes in the description below thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video, please press the like button and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking here. You can also watch more videos just like this one by clicking here. I'm uploading new content every Tuesday and Thursday. Don't forget to press that notification bell to be kept up to date with all of the action. And I'll see you next time. Quack on!